this is Kenya with Kenya's Decor Corner. So today I'm so excited to participate in a, another collaboration and this one is the outdoor DIY and decor collaboration hosted by Christina, the DIY mommy. Hi Christina, thank you so much for hosting this collaboration. This has been so much fun and guys participating in all these collabs is really um, making me go ahead and work on some um, deferred projects around my home especially on the outside I tend to focus mostly on the inside of the home but at any rate today I'll be showing you a couple of DIY projects that I'm doing um, for my outdoor patio uh, on the back patio so I apologize for the noise out here it's fairly loud but um, let me encourage you guys to go over to Christina's channel to check out her video and the um, playlist of all of the other participants and um, again thank you Christina for hosting this collab and if you guys are interested in seeing the DIY projects that I have in store then keep watching okay guys so for this first DIY this is like a little mini DIY because this is super easy I'm gonna take these clips that I got from the Dollar Tree it came six to a little pack of these all-purpose uh, clips as you can see that there um, they were red, <clears throat> white, and blue, but I switched out the blue ones for more white ones so I didn't have to spray paint. <clears throat> so I have these little clips, and then I also got these little um, two-pack of butterflies. And so I'm going to make little um, clip holders for my tablecloth. So when I'm ready to put my tablecloth, on my table out here then these will help to weigh it down so it doesn't fly up so let's put these together really quickly so I'm simply going to just hot glue the butterfly onto the clips and I'm gonna do the butterflies what it looks like upside down because when you do the clips they'll be facing upwards so yeah That's it, super easy. So I'll set that to the side so it can dry. See, that's so easy and it goes so fast. That's why I said this is like a mini DIY because it's super easy. Also, guys, one thing I will mention is that these butterflies come with this little uh, metal piece here. I'm sure you guys probably cannot see that. Um, but it's just a little piece to like attach it to whatever so it can kind of look like it's flying but obviously I don't want that so I just pull that right off like that and it's getting a little windy out here and the sun is kind of peeping in and out so Okay, now that is it for this mini DIY. I think these turned out so super cute and they're gonna look so adorable hanging from my uh, table cloth. Alrighty, so let's get into the very first 
main DIY. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so for this portion of the DIYs, I'm going to be using these super cute little metal stools that I picked up from Five Below. It was $5, and so it's got a white top with these super cute little teal legs. And so I thought these were so adorable, so I got three of these. I'm gonna be using this um, shelf liner that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And what I've done is cut little circles. I cut little circles out. Um, I traced the top of the little stools that I'm using as table ends. I cut out circles so that they'll fit on top like this. And I'll also be using these um, super cute little galvanized uh, serving trays that I picked up from Ross. And guys, one thing I will say is that as you can see, it's a beautiful teal color on the inside of this tray. I was so excited to find these tables at Five Below that have the exact matching color of the galvanized trays. So I was so excited, so I thought that's really how this idea came about for me to make a three-tiered bar cart using these serving trays and these little stools from Five Below. Now, these serving trays were from Ross, and this size was $5.99. As you can see that there, so this is the smallest size. This is the second size tray. It's a little bit larger, as you can see, and this one was $7.99. As you can see that there. And so um, I did get three of these. That one's $7.99. And the largest one is $11.99. And it's pretty large. So I was so excited to find these. I thought it was so cute with the jute twine going around um, the center of it and on the handles of the trays. I thought that was so cute. And guys, it, the weather has not been great here, and so it was cloudy and overcast, and this, the sun is peeping out behind the clouds, so I apologize if the lighting gets a little crazy, but let's put these tables together. So I have my round pieces here. And I'm just going to start with the largest tray at the bottom first. As you see, this is coming together really easily, but what I'm trying to do is make sure that I line the legs up together so that um, it will look intentional. And I'm also making sure that I line up the handles on the serving trays so that they all will be symmetrical as well. Okay guys, and that is my second DIY. So let me pan up here so you guys can see the full look of my three-tiered bar cart or bar station, drink station. So I think this is a really cute idea if you don't have a bar cart but you want to have um, like an outdoor beverage station or bar cart area 
um, and I didn't want to glue these down together because I will definitely be using these trays for other projects um, around my home and so I did not want a permanent um, fixture here so I um, just stack them all together like that and then I'll fill it in with all of my items okay guys so at the end I will show you how I kind of decorate this cart to bring the look all together but that is our first official DIY Let's move into the next one okay guys so for this next DIY I'm gonna be using a pizza tray that I picked up from the Dollar Tree as you can see that there and I have a pie pan and a cake pan all from the Dollar Tree and I did pick up these um, salt and pepper shakers so I have two sets of those and you will need a glue gun so I have my glue gun here now let's move all this out of the way okay so now what we will do is I'm going to make a three-tiered serving tray with these items now normally guys I would have wanted to use those little candlesticks that you can find at the Dollar Tree but I went to like three different Dollar Trees and could not find those and so I have to improvise and use what I was able to find which I think this is gonna actually work out just fine so Let's see. So I have those three now. And guys, of course, if you want this to last long term, then you would want to use something like, um, you know, Gorilla Glue or E6000 or something like that to make it last longer. But for me, this is going to work just fine. Um, and I'll just be sure to pick it up from the base as opposed to picking it up by the top of it But so okay, so we're just gonna find the center of this The idea is that I'm going to stack each of these three on themselves like so Like that so here we go So I'm just eyeballing the center and then I'm just going to add a glob of hot glue here. And now the last tray. This one is dented, so I'm not going to use that one.
And guys, I will mention that I may decide to go back, if this doesn't hold well with the hot glue, then I may go back and um, redo it with some um, like crazy glue or something like that. I think my husband has some crazy glue in the in his little tool kit. <laughs> but this is just so you guys can get the idea here. Okay, so that is my three-tiered tray. Now, some people might spray paint the um, centerpieces like silver or like a kind of a galvanized color, but I'm totally okay with it being clear. And I really like the fact that they are salt and pepper shakers because that makes it like a conversation piece. So I'm gonna sit this to the side and let that dry. And while that's drying, I will show you guys our third DIY. And the third DIY is going to be this um, little planter. I'm going to just use a jute twine to go around to create this super cute little design on a planter. Super easy. These are all su super easy DIY projects that you can do within just a few quick minutes. So I have my twine here from the Dollar Tree. I also got the pot from the Dollar Tree. I also um, got my glue sticks from the Dollar Tree as well. And I got this little cute little sign here, um, little tin that's from the 99 cents only store. And it says, faith plants the seed, love makes it grow. And it's kind of random, but that's what was inside here. So I thought it was so cute. So yeah, I have that. And so for this DIY, I'm just going to put these two right next to each other get a little bit of hot glue on the end to glue these pieces together and now I will start by just gluing this on here. And I'll say guys, be careful with the hot glue so you don't burn yourself. I mean, I'm sure you guys already know that, but sometimes, you know, it's easy to, to burn yourself with this. So, and we're just gonna go around the lid of this flower pot. And every so often, I'll just add a little bit more of the hot glue so I'll put a dab here and then keep going maybe I'll put a dab here now that we made it back I'm gonna go over this top one again just because I didn't get it as close to the edge as I would like. So I'm just gonna go around the top one more time. Guys, I apologize that it's so loud out here, but it's really nice this time in the evening. The temperature it has gone down. It's not as hot as it was earlier in the day. And so that's why I decided to come out here to do these projects since they're for outdoor uh, living space. So, And then 
I'm just gonna go around here several times until I get to the bottom and then I will glue it again. And just ensure that you scoot it up close to the previous row so that you don't have any gaps. And I would have wanted to use, guys, the um, the thicker jute twine at the Dollar Tree, you know, the, the rope kind. But, of course, they didn't have any. Everyone's been watching outdoor DIYs on YouTube, and so... <laughs> My Dollar Tree didn't have any more. They only had this little skinny ones. So I'm going to make it work. Okay, so now that we've gotten close to the edge, I'm going to just add a little glue here because I want these to stay. Okay, now what I will do is now that I have made it all the way around the lip of this um, little planter here now and the glue is here, I'm just going to now bring it up, bring the twine up and, and create the pattern, whatever pattern you like. And so I'm going to add a little glue here at the top, Oops, put that back in place. and. Allow the glue to set and then just move down to your next section and just make like a V pattern or like an upside down V pattern. Add a little more hot glue and you'll just do this pattern all the way around and then if you want to loop back and uh, double it up you can but in mine I only did it um, and as you can see it's making the pattern there and I only did it um, uh oh oh you know what see guys if this comes down all you have to do is push it up a bit and add some glue so I'll get that back in place And if it's not perfect, it's okay because it's your own project. And that's kind of how I feel about it. I used to be so anal about things that I wanted everything to be perfect all the time. And then I had to realize that, you know, nothing's perfect. Life is not perfect. And so, you know, we just roll with it. It's a lot less stressful that way when you think of it that way. And I'm trying to do this in a bit of a hurry also, guys, because I'm running out of daylight. But I just really want you guys to get the gist of it. You can see the idea of what I'm doing here. And we'll come on around again. And all these little string pieces, that's fine because you can pull all that off when we're done
Just connect it back here. Okay. Now, wouldn't you know it, I came out here without my scissors. So I don't have my scissors to cut this. Bear with me one minute. Okay, I have my scissors. I'll cut that off. And then once you cut it off, you can hot glue that little bit down if you like. If it bothers you, if not, otherwise you can just leave it as is. But we'll hot glue it down. And that is it. That is. Those are my three DIY outdoor projects that I've that I think are super easy, that will add a lot of extra cuteness and charm to your space. So, this is one with flowers in it. I think it's super cute. You can also use this as like a utensil holder and just disregard the tags. I just bought these, I got all of these wooden utensils from the Dollar Tree. So, I thought that was a nice buy. And when we're having our outdoor dining, then it's nice to have, you know, the utensils for people to serve their food. And so, there you go. Okay, so let's look at these three DIY projects that we have. Okay, guys, and here's the three final looks. Here's a three-tier tray just with a few snack items on it just to give you guys an idea of how you can set it up. And then our three-tiered bar cart beverage station here. I just put a few items on here again just to show you how you can set it up. I will style this later once I complete my back patio. But I did put a few water bottles there with some paper cups. And then this is our DIY number two, or number three actually, which is the clay pot with the jute twine around the top, which looks super cute. Then you can also use it as a utensil holder as well. Alrighty guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun doing these DIY projects. And I'm so excited to get our outdoor space um, all together so that I can share it with you guys um, once it's all complete. Okay guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Again, thank you Christina for hosting this collaboration. This was so much fun and I'd encourage you guys to be sure to go over and check out Christina's channel along with the um, videos of all of the other participants. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you've enjoyed this enough to click the button and also the subscribe button. And um, if you're my faithful family member, thank you guys so much, so, so much for all of your love and support. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.